What's up guys? So it's Saturday and in this video we're talking about Valentine's Day and flirtatious vocabulary about um, this day and in general in English. What flirtatious vocabulary you can use um, to flirt with people or to say nice words to people or make some nice actions and how do you call them. Alright, so briefly about this holiday like Valentine's Day or Lover's Day, how I prefer to call it. Um, and uh, like there are a lot of history and there are a lot of like murky, there are a lot of, a lot, of, a lot, of a lot of mysterious legends about it, like some people say. But um, one of the most popular is about the, the saint and uh, he was secretly helping a young couples to get married long, long time ago in history, like in Roman, during the Roman Empire. So um, uh, I, I prefer to hold to hold on to that, and uh, I prefer to call it like Lover's Day. Now it's more popular like that way internationally. So now, what's the tradition um, on this holiday? Like people like to exchange uh, postcards, uh, like to to the people they they adore or the people they like or they have some feelings for, or just people around them. Um, who they want to appreciate. Now, exchanging postcards is a really, really old tradition. And uh, I remember when I was at school, like we used to, we used to exchange postcards in the elementary school, no, in primary school, pardon. And um, we we used to like do that secretly. So like like girls would put postcards under boys' uh, desks, and uh, uh, like guys would do the same. And leave, leave some postcards under uh, girls' desks secretly. And I remember, I always remember that, like, like when I was in, in school, like I, I used to check my desk, what's below my desk after the break time, and I used to find it totally empty. And I was like thinking, why is nobody sending me postcards? I was sad about it. And um, I think on the, on February 14, a lot of people are sad because uh, especially single people who got no couples. And um, now I thought like, why, why am I not getting any postcards? And then, then, it, then it came to me, it occurred uh, to me that like, it, it's actually me who's not sending postcards. So when you are not sending postcards to anybody, you cannot expect to uh, have some postcards in return. So that was the story. It was funny, but like I realized it. I realized it. I realized it like later, many, many, many years later. So just like that. So let's move on with the um, with the um, vocabulary about 14 February, or the Valentine's Day or the Lover's Day. And uh, now the first uh, word uh, before the first word, I want to say like if you. Um, if you if you if you have feelings for somebody or if you have someone you adore or you like, you should definitely send some postcards to them, and you will get some po postcards back hopefully. Now the first word or phrase or collocation is to make eyes at somebody, to make to make eyes you might make eyes at somebody. <laughs> it's funny, I got twisted. So make eyes at somebody. Now what does that mean? Uh, when you're looking at somebody or when you, someone looks at you with like charming eyes, you know, like Prince Charming and doing like this, it's called making eyes at somebody. And this is a very, very, very extremely, it's, a, it's an extremely flirtatious gesture when somebody's looking like that at you, like boy or girl or like any of them. It's called making eyes at somebody and it, usually we do this like when we're starting to flirt with somebody and when we, when we show the person that we uh, like them or somehow we have some feelings for them. So it's called making eyes at somebody. Now some people take it for granted and some people don't realize that they are doing it. Um, but we learn it, we learn it like instinctively, like and then naturally. We, we sometimes don't realize that we're doing it. But I believe some people who are highly pros, they know that they are doing it and they're making eyes at somebody and they, they send the chemicals and the, the person gets the message that this person is positive about them and, and likes them or has some feelings about them. Now, the same but similar phrase is ogling at somebody. It's a little bit worser when you ogle at somebody. It's uh, like 
it's like more like men do it, like women do it. Like when you ogle at somebody, you like look at them like from from, from upside down and you know scan them from from the top to the bottom, and uh, you look at them like you're not only making eyes, but you're like looking at them very very. Uh, like in a very very hungry way, like you're like as if they are they're, they're your prey and you're the uh, predator who's going to attack them soon. All right, so that's called ogling at somebody. Now, ogling at somebody is not really nice. It can be it can be taken very aggressive and very too forward. So and you may you might be mistaken. I mean, you might be misunderstood, not mistaken. All right, so and the, another vocabulary about. Um, about the, the lover's day is like have a crush on someone it's very popular and usually it's a very popular question like usually um, um, people people have a crush on somebody on this day like when, when people like have a crush on somebody they usually tell it on this day and most most of the people have a crush uh, on other people like on this day because like there was a there was a story of like there was a legend of the Cupid who you know, shoots an arrow and makes people fall with one another, like boys and girls. So it's called having a crush on somebody. So have you ever had a? Uh, I believe you had uh, you had a crush on somebody. So if you had a crush on somebody ever, you can post it, comment it below, and let it, let me know. Like, what what was your crush? When was your first crush on someone? And did you did you did you? What was the story? How did it end up? Now, I'm sure, like um, when you have a crush on someone, like this, there comes the period when you have to tell about it, and it's our next vocabulary. It's called like when you're making a confession, when you're making a confession, and when you're telling about your feelings, like towards these people. This is the hardest part, and um, uh, but uh, like for some people it's easy, for some people it's hard. But I think like if you're if you have a crush on somebody and the the right time to confess is it's February I guess it's easier to do like you can do it first anonymously like secretly write a postcard and uh, express your feelings like confess about your feelings and just just send it and when you see the reaction of the person then you can tell it in person and uh, identify yourself as a Valentine and I guess that would be easier. Making a confession, and uh, one other vocabulary that I forgot—it's uh, also a funny word, a phrase to me. You probably never heard it, but it's called drooling, drooling over somebody. Like when you're, when you what? What is it, drooling over somebody? When you, when you look at somebody, like and you're, like, like a lot of people go 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 to go to the beach, and people like, let's go to the beach, you know, and then like guys will say like, we we went to the beach, and we were like, drooling over some girls, or like. Maybe maybe girls do it too. Like they go to the beach and drooling over some some guys, like some hot guys who looks like who look like Hollywood hunks and like really 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 handsome and good looking. So it's called drooling over somebody. Like when you look at somebody and uh, and your saliva is coming out of your mouth, that's called drooling over somebody. So make sure. Well, if you're drooling over somebody, you gotta go and confess and. Uh, Send a postcard. So happy Lover's Day, happy Valentine's Day, and I hope this vocabulary was fun and was interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos every weekend, like every Saturday. I'll be posting these videos now. Like and so it was your teacher, Descalos. If you have any questions, comments below. And um, so when it comes to your when it comes to music, like February 14, uh, like uh, people always have have like favorite songs, you know, favorite love songs. So uh, my favorite love song for uh, for for Valentine's Day and for February 14 and for Lover's Day, is, it's like Eminem, my favorite rapper. And the song is called Don't Die Alone. It's, um, it sounds sounds very sad, but it's actually very, very, very positive uh, song for me. Yeah, it's like very upbeat song. So, so if you're single, if you're also, if you're, if you guys single or I wish you to find your mate, your soulmate, and if you already have a crush on somebody, I wish you to go and confess about your feelings because it's not really, not really nice to keep it inside. So how to do that? Well, first of all, you can start making eyes at somebody, at the person you have a crush on. 
Uh, be careful of, with Googling, all right? That might be misunderstood. And, right, just go ahead. Happy Valentine's Day. And don't die alone.